Hey, welcome back to Farming Simulator 17. I have a uh, short video for you guys today, something that I just discovered right now, as you can tell uh, in the screen here. I'm mowing, I'm uh, doing some baling, and I'm also doing the wrapper all in one pass using the Follow Me mod. Uh, if you've seen my last videos, you know I love this mod, I use it all the time. Uh, it's better than hiring some uh, workers. You know, it saves you time, it saves you money. Uh, anyways, uh, if you don't have this mod, you can go back into my other videos. I have the review of, on it. Uh, or you can download it from either Mod Hub or whatever your favorite site is. But mine, I usually just download it either from Mod Hub or from the Farming Simulator official website. Um, I don't like messing with the viruses and nothing like that, so I just stick with Mod Hub and uh, Farming Simulator website. But anyways, uh, I'm doing this, and the baler in the back, it's getting kind of stuck. Uh, the well, actually not the baler, the wrapper in the back, it gets stuck because it can't keep up with the baler. The baler does uh, it goes a little bit faster than the uh, wrapper, so when the wrapper comes behind it, it gets stuck, and it usually throws the uh, bale that's picking up to the side and it, I gotta get off and I gotta go and uh, get in the back tractor and fix that uh, so I went into the um, uh, what do I call it I went into the uh, my not my settings my file folder for the game and I was actually looking around and I found a setting that you can actually move and change the time of the wrapper uh, change the time it takes to wrap the bell so I already changed this I'm gonna show you real quick what it looks like and after uh, I'm gonna show you uh, how to change that and for everybody uh, thank you that's new thank you so much for watching uh, please give this uh, video a thumbs up if you like it uh, subscribe if you have it and let's get right to it I'm gonna unpause this and we're gonna take a look at this real quick because it's gonna go real fast so uh, let's unpause this and look at the baler behind. You see how fast? Well, actually, let's go and take a look at over there. Let's get in here and we're going to see. Take a look at the baler. It picks up the bale. And you see how fast it goes? And it wraps it real quick and then stops. Uh, normally, it wouldn't have done this. Normally, it would have just picked up the bale and started wrapping it and kept kept on driving and the bell that's in front it would just kick it to the side but look it picks it up it wraps it super quick and it comes and unloads it and then it's gonna pick up the other bell but if it was normal the normal time uh, that it comes it would have just knocked that bell to the side just pushed it off and it wouldn't have done this but this is freaking cool I really love it Let's hop here in the front and let's take a look here. Let's drive a little bit more and we can see from here just how, how fast the animation is. You see, so we're gonna keep driving and it's gonna pick up the, the bale and it's gonna wrap it real quick. You're gonna see it spin right now. and then it just immediately stops and um, drops that. So let me show you real quick how to uh, change the setting. So we're gonna open our file folder. If you have Steam, I've uh, said it in the past, this is almost the same thing. Uh, you can actually do it through your computer or you can do it through Steam. Uh, Steam, you just have to go into the game and click on it, go into properties, uh, and then browse files or browse local files. Uh, if you have the game uh, in your computer uh, and your PC, just go ahead and go into your file folder. And we're gonna go, I have two drives, but if you're gonna go into the drive where you have your game installed. So mine is in local disk C, program files 86, farming simulator 2017. Then you're gonna go into data, and you can actually do a lot of changes in your vehicles, uh, your trailers uh, through here. Uh, if you don't know where a vehicle is, just hit store 
and look for the uh, brand and the name of it and then you can go into its own category either cars cutters steerable tools whatever the category is but this one is going to be under trailers well let me show you which one it is first uh, I think it's way down here in the bottom let me just see if I can find it real quick um, right here it's the Ursa C586 so we're gonna look for this brand and the model so go ahead and go back and you're gonna go into vehicles uh, and then let's go into trailers because that's where it's under so Ursus and then we're gonna go open the XML file uh, and this one I already did it but you would actually click on it and bring it out into your desktop and then it would ask you for permission uh, if it doesn't do that just bring it out to your desktop because you can't edit directly from here you have to click on it drag it out and bring it out but since I already did it I'm just gonna show you how to uh, change it real quick and you can I use notepad plus plus it's much much easier but if you don't have that you can still open it with uh, either notepad wordpad or whatever else program you desire so let's go here and then something real quick you can change the price if you don't want to pay full price just go ahead and change it here you can actually uh, this one's 42,000 you can actually bring it to zero and when you're in store you're not gonna pay nothing uh, daily upkeep you can change that to zero too uh, and you won't have to pay anything and this one was one I forgot but this one was 42,000 uh, well it's not gonna edit because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna save it because I already did it but anyways uh, so you're gonna go down all the way down till the, you find the animation parts and just keep scrolling so you find wrapper so here's the wrapper right here uh, the wrapper and then you're gonna go into wrapping time and originally when you're first doing this it's gonna say 20 that's how fast it is um, I think 3 is a little too fast but since I'm already playing in the game I don't want to exit and change that uh, but I'm just going to leave it like that. So three, well actually for me three is really good because I don't know I just um, I went from 20 I just wanted to do it a little bit faster so I put three and when I started playing the game it was just perfect so I'm going to leave it at three. So yours is going to have 20 so just go ahead and delete that and put three and then go ahead and press file save and then exit and I'm not going to do that because I already did it but um, so once you finish uh, doing that go ahead and grab the XML file and put it back in the folder or else uh, your trailer or your wrapper is not going to show up and as you can see it works real good Now I really suggest that when you're doing this, if you don't know how to do this or it's your first time, go ahead and make a copy of it uh, just in case you do change it and you don't like it. Uh, you can go ahead and get that copy and uh, restart. Just take a look how quick this wraps it. And I just love it. Before it used to take, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 seconds and like I told you, it'll it will knock off my uh, bell to the side and everything. Well, anyways, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you next time.